<laughs> you are a cheap date. No. Don't spoil if I told you. Spoil the surprise. I'm excited and I don't even know what's going on. Well, I have been derelict in my husbandly obligations. Well, we have a prenup that kind of puts a kibosh on that. Greeny, last night after you went to bed, I realized that I have totally bagged on our wedding promise. I'm like 20 surprises behind you right now. And even that wouldn't begin to cover what I owe you. Stop it. Okay, it's been really rough lately. Kendall, need I say more? But I promise you that Kendall wouldn't be an issue. Remember? I'm not gonna let her mess with me or with us. Okay, I promise from this moment forward that she's not even on the radar. Deal? You're the boss. Nuts? Been called worse. This is your idea of a well-balanced, nutritious breakfast. It's part of the surprise. <gasps> I'm supposed to guess, aren't I? Yeah. I stayed up half the night coming up with the clues, and I spent all morning putting them together. That'll teach me to sleep late. All right. Uh, the nuts are part of a clue. Is there jelly involved? Oh, man. You're very good at this. No, keep guessing. Whoa! Color me excited. <laughs> Chalk for playing hopscotch. And a hairnet for that cafeteria worker look that gets you so hot. Like not even on the planet. These happen to be fantasy essentials, Greenlee. Come on now, this is for fantasy prep and this is for fantasy safety. My fantasy? Brian, it's obvious that you put a lot of work into this, but is it possible that you don't know me really as well as you think? <laughs> Just work with me, okay? Ooh. Ooh. Butterflies are free. Exactly! I don't get it. Well, there are a lot more clues, more hints for you to decipher. So you get your cute little butt out of bed because the Lavery fantasy hunt is on. Butterflies are free. Butterflies are free. Is there a sports name? Uh, kinda. I got it. The net is a basketball net. Chalk for drawing plays. You think my fantasy is coaching a women's professional basketball team called the Pennsylvania Butterflies, and the nuts are in case they get the munchies. One, it's out of season. Two, you hate basketball. And three, the Pennsylvania Butterflies? Okay. How's this? The net is a butterfly net, which they're going to use to capture you and put you away. Is this a fantasy that you haven't shared with me? Oh, no. I like you crazy, but roaming free. I need another clue. Help yourself. Take a look around. Well, how am I supposed to get a clue from something that's just lying around? If you were a butterfly, where would you be? <clears throat> <gasps> Can't do it all for you. Don't look at 
down. Okay. <laughs> I'm safe now. Don't look down. Butterflies are free and don't look down. Start packing. Close your eyes. Okay. Hold it. Hold it. You realize, of course, that me standing here with my eyes closed with you doing something with what seems to be a sharp object is the ultimate display of trust? I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, open. It's beautiful. Thank you. Fantasy. The green butterfly. I'm gonna give this woman a prize. The chalk <sighs> is for my hands. The net is in case I fall, and the nuts are for the elephants at the circus to feed them. It's two of my childhood fantasies all wrapped up in one. Mm -hmm. Who says I don't listen when you talk? I was going to be a trapeze artist, and I was going to call myself the Green Butterfly. What a coincidence! God, I used to watch these amazing women in these sparkly, glittery costumes, and they used to, they used to fly through the air. I thought they'd go right to the top of the tent. And you being the wild child that you were, thought that looked like a good time. When they let go of the bar, for that one split second, they're suspended in midair. I swear my heart used to stop just watching. And then they would reach out and they would grab the other trapeze and all of the noise would rush back into my head again and I could breathe again. But you never actually tried it. I tried it once. On the monkey bars. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you are. Ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, I present to you the brave, the beautiful, greenly, lavery, the magnificent, flying, green, butterfly! That's a great fantasy, Ryan. One of the best. Hey, whatever floats your boat. Yeah, you know what? Even now I'd do it. It wouldn't be great just to leave all the drama behind. Tell Kendall to take a hike and join the circus. You want to? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, like I said. As long as they're in town. You got tickets? Come on, Chris. Did you really think that I was going to stop halfway? Now, you are going to feel what that moment is like. You know, the moment in between the two trapezes when everything stops. Because you are having a private lesson with the great trapezina underneath the big top. And after you, you know, learn how to fly, I'll probably go buy some more peanuts and something wet to wash it down with. And I'm going to park myself in the bleachers and I am going to cheer on the magnificent green butterfly and watch her fly through the air with the greatest of ease. Ryan, I love you. I love you too. You too? Mm hmm I love you for sharing your little girl dreams. For making the payoff as fun to give as it was to get. And for making me forget everything that's been dragging me down. And for thinking I'm crazy and loving me anyway. And I love you for being the one friend with whom I can share these crazy adventures with and not feel crazy. <laughs> Come on, let's go join the circus. <laughs>